Hey everybody, it's Wikipedia. Uh, just checking out Snipe Zero Zero's quarry, and uh, he had a failed oil well here. Obviously, I had cleared out 58 water cells on the way down. This thing won't go away. I have an infinite water source at bedrock. Now, there's no other water around. It's just, it, there's nothing here. It's just bedrock and water. I like try and put a block there to kill the water. It works. And then when I break the water, or the, the block, it comes back. So like I got 64 water cells. I can just farm water here at this infinite water. Dude, you found the the well of eternity. The the holy grail. The I don't know. It's something sacred. You got to build something around this. This has got to be like your main focus to study this and it's just it, it's it's got to be like a rift in time something yeah yeah definitely i'm going to put uh sand there <laughs> something magical man you got to you got to nestle this thing magical what about no doop doop there we go come on why aren't you there you go I litter up for you. Although the quarry will probably mine it out and it'll just get upset about the water. Whoa. Uh so yeah, that's weird. Um Hmm. I wonder what's causing that. If you know, leave it in the leave a comment in the comment section. Um hello. How are you? Thanks for watching, guys. Hello, I'm back, and uh, I've got kind of a cool thing. Found a desert temple in a lake. In a desert, it's still all desert biome. It's just this happened to spawn water. It's kind of cool. Never seen a desert temple completely surrounded by water. Um, so let's see what we've got inside. Good. Ooh, spoils bag. Seven gold. Thaumium, I like thaumium. More gold. Cool. Uh, so yeah, I'm out exploring for a base. Uh, I kind of want to have a, uh, whatchamacallit, a desert along with the jungle, but I also like big hills and mountains, and uh, I want a normal, normal biome for my normal bees when I finally do the bees. So, oh, temple. Oh, I didn't mark that one. Well, I'll know. <laughs> I usually put uh, little lights on stuff that I end up looting so people don't waste their time. And uh, I should probably just make this. So I made this. I finally got the aluminum and uh, heart canister permanent health increase. Boop. Oh, I don't know if that worked at all. Is it just, yeah, it just has to regen the heart. That's awesome. So I get a fr an extra heart. And as time goes on, I may get more. Exciting. Kind of disappointed that even if you break that thing, it still shoots this off. Boop, boop. I want the redstone. Or maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's just making the noise. Whatever. Some steel. I see. I want to almost like figure this out one time. So what does that do? Okay. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, see, I don't understand, like, how this, oh, does it, no. I'll have to watch a video sometime on how to solve this. <laughs> oh, I suppose that's it. And then you can get in here. So, I don't know if it's always the same. So you just extend, extend, bring it down. But not a phone. Um, and then it just, then it exposes it. I don't know. Ooh, another heart. Yes. I want these pistons though. Yeah. Cool. I don't know. I guess old habits die hard. It's one thing I definitely recommend to make an ender chest that just automatically sucks stuff back in. So nice. So I switched out the pump in the nether. I'm actually going to make a tutorial on the uh, ender thermic pump so that you guys can see that it may actually go up before this and uh yeah uh, i i'm having a lot of difficulty finding information about the pump and uh from what i can see it's supposed to be causing a lot less lag because it's replacing the lava the lava blocks that it mines with stone just smooth stone so then there isn't all that flowing lava in the nether. But I couldn't, like, it doesn't extend down like that pump. So I don't know if it was working up at a, a height of where I had it. So then I put it way down, and it seemed to be working, but it didn't seem to be, it didn't seem to need to be near lava. It just kind of took it from around itself. So I'm confused at how it works. Uh, going to do some experimentation. And uh, do a little more flying around. Because I am going to be cutting the umbilical cord. I'm going to be moving out of the starter house we've been been at this whole time. This is kind of a cool... I like the hills in Jungle Hills. Um, it's a pretty cool spot. But I'm so far away from spawn. We're going to have to do some alternate modes of transportation to get here. Uh, probably like a miscraft book or something. With interlinking, so I'll have to blow some ender pearls. But, uh, and hope to get just interlinking. I've only been able to get interlinking disarm. And, uh, from what I know about disarm, it disarms you. I don't want to lose my stuff every time, or, you know, someone else to lose their stuff every time they come to my house. That'd just be silly. Do one more. That's okay, let's see if we can do it. Oh, we're so good. Yeah. Alright, and... Standing in line to see the show tonight, and there's a light on heavy glow. And so it, it just sounds like it does because it lets the string go, it doesn't actually let it go. She's bad loot in this one. Oh well. Uh, yeah, but I'll see you guys back at well, somewhere. I don't know where I'm going to be going from here. Still just exploring, looking for a base, generating terrain while no one else is on. It's my day off. Um, so, we'll talk to you later. Welcome back, everybody. Um, gathering a few presents for my cohorts before they take off for the evening. Still haven't Ooh, decided on a house. Chest. It's aluminum is all it is. I just was dumping it out of there. It's not really hidden. Secret chest. Secret chest. 
so I need another apple. Or 64. And four more diamonds. Man, eventually you get too many tools on your hand tool. Alright, so. Where'd you go? Am I coming upstairs? Oh, uh, I was going to uh, yeah. I'm getting some yeah. serious All FPS right. stuff going on. I am here. too, I don't know why. Alright, so. All right, I'll so go I'm perfectly fine. In this middle chest here. Oh, I don't know what's gonna happen. Each of you take a line. <laughs> Whoa, Luke. Put a, I don't know about that. Put it in your nose. Put it in my what? Just what's what's the pattern? It's it's any combination of those in a two by two. Uh, it, you can pretty much do anything you want, and then it makes you a heart canister. Now, when you right-click this heart canister, it will permanently increase your hearts by one. Yay. Yay, we all get more I hearts. I have two hearts. Well, it, it just takes a second to regenerate. Yes, you're at 22 now. And Commander Kran's at 22. Yay! Yay! So yeah, the necrotic bones, they're basically like a rare drop from wither skeletons. And uh, looting sword definitely helps you get them. Uh, I made my looting sword of the Zephyr, looting 3, sharpness 5. I just have to not break it so that I can get repair on there. Found a couple more blaze spawners. I'm getting quite the collection of spawners, but we need shards. I want to do a little bit of the end. I'm not going to kill the dragon tonight, but I'm going to go find the place and get my hands on some end stone. And, uh, Can't you not get back? Remember what happened in Hexit? We can, we can't, we can slash home. Oh yeah. And I could have, I could bring a, what should I call it? Linking book. But if I can't get back, I'll have Jesse come to me and bring me a linking book. So there. But yeah, to make soul shards, you need end stone. And then in the process of making soul shards, you get more end stone. So, yeah. Oh, I should just kill some of these guys with my looting sword. I, I see... Eh. That's enough. Oh no. How dare you. Huh. I think I'm going the right way still. Kind of lost track of that one. This is new. So I'm going oh. to the end. Holy. Holy oil. 
Ocean oil field biome. Dude. This is cool. There are quite a few oil nodes here, man. Can you imagine how much oil you'd get out of this place? Oh, but they're over water. That makes it so much harder to get out. <laughs> yeah, it's a pain in the ass. Unless you have a Greg Tech Advanced Pump, in which Greg, case it's Greg. easy peasy. Greg Tech, why? That's pretty cool. I'm gonna. I almost want to mark that. Oil field. There, oil field has been marked. Needed to be done. River. Beach. Great. Alright, so the end is definitely under an ocean. I wonder if it's under the oil field. at least close to it. <laughs> the end is under the oil field. That's great. Down I go. So with this helmet I've got all kinds of cool little gadgets. You must go deeper. Oh yep, I can see her now. searching scientific in fact <laughs> I didn't get anywhere all right um, I will come back to you guys once we figure out what we're doing yeah I heard a silver fish all oh, man my inventory in essence, very sounds to the right. Whatever. Uh, I don't hear. 
Where's the silverfish? I heard him. And and for admin purposes, warp set end, so that if and when we do go through to a uh, public server, we can get here and solve any little arguments that are happening. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, oh, sorry. All right, so I need to not get killed. Really need to not not get killed. All right, he he knows about me. Yeah. See, I was watching a live stream today, and I noticed these clouds in the live stream. I don't like it. It really ruins the end. It's supposed to be this vast space of nothing. And there's clouds. Get lost. Oh, the railgun doesn't do too much. Ow! Still scares me, even though I didn't take damage. Any asteroids out here? Come on. Can't even see them. Alright, I just, I'm just gonna... I don't know which one's faster. Yeah, this one. You coming for me? <laughs> Too fast for you. So I'm kind of saving the Enderman, uh, the Ender Dragon kill for when we've got more people. Oh, I don't have a scoop of any kind. Hey, get! But I do kind of want to see what these clouds are. Causes lightning strikes. Hmm. So it's like thunder clouds? I don't see any lightning happening. Let's get some of this and see, play with it in the overworld. <laughs> get out of here. Half a stack, eh. Yeah. I don't need that much, I guess, but... Since I'm here. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Home. There. I got my end stone. I'm gonna be able to make my soul shards. on. Hmm. I think I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Alright, going for reels. Bye bye. Bye. Jesse, can you TP me to you? 
Can I what? Can you TP me to you? Yeah, I'm like stuck in limbo, kind of. I'm gonna try reconnecting. And it'll probably crash me. Hey, I'm here. Hello. Cool. So I got our endstone, and uh, we can make our shards. Fitted blood-stained stone stairs. What? What are you staining with blood? Yep. Quarried block and gunpowder, gun blood. St <laughs> My NEI is gone. There it is. Blood stained. Oh, so you're doing this, the, that type of wood or whatever. No, I'm not doing anything with any wood. What? explain this I can't get a good pattern through any eye oh okay got it so just rotten flesh and beef and with sandstone smooth sandstone and it makes it all bloody oh. and Dirty. Okay, yeah, it's cool. I'm okay with that. Spilling the blood of the undead innocent. Yeah. To decorate our house. Yeah, yep, yep. I brought us back some dark clouds. It says it causes lightning strikes. The rack. Glowstone. And. Da -da -da -diamond. You know, that is one upside to not having Greg Tech. I can just make glowstone. It's kind of a pain in the butt. To have to jump through all those hoops for things. Secret code here. And a diamond. Do, do. Oops. I'm going to make so many soul shards. You're going to be so jealous. Yeah, that's the word. Yeah. What else would you call it? You're going to be like, I wish I could be as cool as that Wikipedia guy. I hear he's got two blaze spawners and three skeleton spawners and even a zombie spawner. It was rumored. This is so exciting. I'm recording it. I think I'm going to stop recording it now. You guys catch the drift. I'm going to make like nine more of these. Just so that we have them. Because then we'll have them. Because we'll have them. Yep. Last one. 
Boop. 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 So I think I'll leave it set up. I don't know. Maybe it'll cause lag. You never know with like multi-block things. Like they usually do cause lag when they're incomplete. I have no idea in this case, but I don't think we'll ever need to make it again, so why take the chance? We'll just get rid of it. And we'll go... I don't think I can make more than four right now. And then go spawners. And I brought the silverfish home. I don't think I'll need it. But one never knows. Alright. These are going to need a dark area. This feels like it might be dark. Mm, no. Is there a cave? Oh, yeah. Twenty kills or whatever from uh <laughs> Great Wow I have an extra <laughs> Tier five Alright and then we'll do a blaze This is a blank one Blaze tier zero I have extras of these too. <laughs> oh. I thought I heard one behind me, but it was just that. Die. And I'm told that you can't kill blazes in water anymore. Sad face. Alright, blaze spawner, zombie spawner, skellington spawner. Aww! You see, it, it combined them. Alright, well, I'm gonna have all kinds of skelly spawners. That's four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and a six. Alright, got my spawners. Got six extra skeleton. I don't know, like, whenever I'm shift clicking with spawners or, like, looting them, they really like to pile on top of each other. I'm kind of upset because I had four blaze spawners which I feel are more valuable than skeleton spawners. Maybe not rarer, but like I just want the right things to loot. Okay, so I'll just oh no 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 one, two, three, four, we'll leave them eight. And Salt Stealer Enchant. That's for noobs. We're just putting them in here. Gotta keep the big boy toys. In there, you know. And what do we got? What do we got? Did that okay? 
was another wooden pick that I had thrown in there earlier. It's gotta go. We'll see if that attracts some lightning strikes. And then we shall throw these into the abyss. And um, I don't know if I showed you guys my new attachments. So I have a rail gun, which I can actually shoot Endermen with, as long as you shoot their feet. But it causes a lot of heat. Uh, like you see on the right side, there's the 9.21M goes to like half heat every time I shoot it and it does knock me back like even quite a bit like once I'm mid flight <laughs> but uh so that's that and then we've got the power fist the uh plasma cannon you can spam it makes a lot of noise wrench as you all know light ho oh, the ho I wanted to try something in the dirt world with the hoe my dirt land. <laughs> I like it. Oh man, that drains power. <laughs> wow, dude, I, you know the the hoe for your glove? That drains so much yeah. power. Like I drained two M's almost in, like within ten seconds. It goes like point two M each megajoule or whatever it is. Looks pretty cool in the dirt land though with it all tilled up. <sighs> Alright, what else we got? Cheers. Y'all know what those do. No torches, Amica. Yeah, it's Torch Blazer. And it's a tree tap. And it's an EU reader, and it's a lighter. Oh man, just can't trust this thing. And it's a leaf blower. And it's a crafting table. And it's blade launcher. They only do six damage each. So inferior weapons to the nearly 30 damage on zombies but it one shots the angry ones because it knocks them up in the air if uh, if I shoot at an upward angle or a downward angle they get enough air to take that last bit of damage otherwise it one shots everything else you a normal zombie? one shot Another normal zombie? One shot. One shot. Possibly OP. You can kill stuff very quickly. But it causes a lot of heat and I do have a cooling system. Uh, so I think that's helping me regain my uh, heat levels. Or fix my heat levels, whatever. <laughs> Quicker. But uh, yeah, this thing is just keep it keeps making me happy. <laughs> I suppose I could uh, show you the other stuff. Compass. I didn't do the aura meter yet because I haven't done the thomcraft. Compass, clock, and that's all in the top left. Flight control, so basically it gives you creative flight. Um, night vision, so I'll never need to torch anything again. Binoculars. I've never done that. I cranked up the zoom on that. 
Let's see. Oh my gosh, it's late. Yeah. Um. Oh, come on. Is there no... What's it say on that again? With the problems that have been plaguing Optifine lately, you've decided to take that zoom ability into your own hands. Hmm. No. No. Oh, that's... That's where those go. <laughs> alright, alright. So I thought this was just a buff. That makes sense that it's there. I gotta figure out what else goes in here. If you guys know, let me know what goes in these. I know this is a knapsack. Maybe this is that force belt. Would the belt go there? Let's see. Well, right, because anything can go in those. Yeah. Doesn't help anything. I'll put it there anyway. Why not? I don't know what it does. So, yeah. Um, still haven't found a place to live. Oh. Looks like the boat is building a boat in the water. Oh my goodness. You know how long I've searched for you? Oh. Come to me. It takes a long time to sink in this. The swim assist is kind of glitchy or something. So here's the flight control. You just, you don't hover or anything like that, you just stop moving. And whichever direction you point, you go. I like that you don't go up and down now. <sighs> when you point up and down, it used to be really hard to control, and now it's just like this. To go up, you hit space bar, down, you go Z. It's very simple. Makes a lot of sense. I'm really glad they changed that. Like, you could, like, if you pointed down, you kind of went down, too. And, ugh. Yeah. Well, thank, every, thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, I don't know if you guys even want to see the quarry. Uh, it's kind of boring stuff. But I'm going to check on it. We, uh, have been quarrying at a very quick rate, <laughs> ruining some nice terrain. Uh, we started this, like, 45 minutes ago. Quartz, quartz. So, uh, yeah, again. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, or if you guys would even like to look for a place for me to live, like I have done that before for people, it was kind of interesting to see other people's uh, suggestions. There's my seed. Um, if you feel like you find a cool place, uh, no biomes are plenty, uh, so if you guys do explore, you want to have that turned off. And, uh, the only thing that I request in a place to live is no snow, possibly near a desert, has to be near a jungle, and I like, uh, what is that thing called that we're in normally back home? extreme hills. I like extreme hills, but plains are cool too and um I even a swamp isn't bad. 
the army green on the grass is it kind of grows on you. But uh, I do like the mountains, and it's hard to beat them. But it's got to be near a jungle, and a desert nearby is a bonus, um, and a decent plot of water even. Uh, I like to make my farms in the water. You just like place the dirt, and it'll all be hydrated. But whatever works. I have to stop. Oh my gosh. Uh, thank you for watching again. I love you all. Um, my channel's been growing faster than I ever expected, and I'm happy to see every single one of you guys show up. Oh, that's not the hoe. Yeah. Um, <laughs> welcome to the crew if you're new. Uh, <laughs> I'll keep doing videos as much as I can. I'm running myself dry. Thank you so much for watching. I, s I swear this is the last time I say it. Good night.